Back now with Jeffrey Tubin, whose new book, Homegrown, Timothy McVeigh and the Rise of Right-Wing Extremism, is out now and getting excellent reviews. But let's talk now about your exit from CNN and what's going on in your life uh, since then. After, of course, this is the incident that occurred in 2020, Zoom, masturbation, now former colleagues at The New Yorker were involved, among others. You subsequently fired from the magazine. You left CNN. Um, what's life been like for Jeffrey Tubin? Well, let's talk about the, the incident itself. Yeah. It, was, it was a disaster in my life, self-inflicted, self-destructive, and something that I will regret for the rest of my life. Um, I have no excuses. I have only apologies, which I have tried to offer to everyone involved, including very much my family, which was uh, terribly embarrassed by it. But um, it's now more than two and a half years ago, and uh, a lot has happened, almost all good since then. And uh, I feel like my life is in a very good place, actually. And what exactly happened? Was it just, you just left open the screen? I, you know, I'd rather not go into the, the, the grisly details. The only thing I'll say about it is I didn't know other people were, were on the Zoom call, were watching. I mean, this was not an intentional act on my part. That, I, other than that, I'd rather uh, not, not go into the details. But, I mean, that, that to me, for some reason, uh, that is important to, to get out there. And, and I'll be honest, I don't really want to go into the details. You know either. what? Then we agree. <laughs> Um, so after the incident, you went on CNN and you talked about therapy and public service, et cetera. Has that happened? Yeah, yeah. I mean, I, I um, you know, I, I'm trying to be a better person and, and I'm, I'm still working on that. Um, I, I mentioned just sort of in passing that I work at a food bank every week, which I continue to do. And, uh, and, and also, I, you know, I've moved my life in a different direction. I, I'm not, I, I, this, this was not connected to uh, the Zoom incident. I mean, I, I was very fortunate that CNN brought me back. And I worked at CNN for over a year after um, being, being brought back. Did they fire you then? No, no, no. I was not fired by CNN. No, no I, that was a mutual decision that I left uh, last, I guess it was July, last August, where I, um, you know, I, we've been in the similar business for a long time. I'd done 20 years of live shots. I was, I was ready to, to do something else. In fairness, I should point out that it's, it was a new management um, that, that was less fond of me than the old management, so I can't say they were brokenhearted to see me go. But, you know, I got a package to go. And, you know, I'm back to being a writer, which is how I started this whole thing. And, you know, writing Homegrown, uh, doing magazine work. I've got a bunch of Hollywood projects in the works, including a, a, min, a limited series based on Homegrown. Um, so, you know, there's a lot going on in my life that's different, but, you know, it's all okay with me. I, I, I've got to ask you, because I see people making jokes, right, about you, even at the White House Correspondents' Dinner this weekend. They did it again. Let me just play a quick piece of sound from the White House Correspondents' Dinner this weekend. That ain't how you fire somebody. It's messed up. How funny is it that you work in the news, then watch on the news that you got fired from the news? <laughs> Don Lemon is now the most obnoxious guy in the history of CNN. That's not fair. Even Jeffrey Tubin looking at Don Lemon like, ooh, he rubbed me the wrong way. <laughs> It, it's got to be tough, right, hearing... I, it's lousy. I mean, the whole thing is lousy. Um, I, I, if I could, you know, rewrite history or go back in time, of course I would not um, want to have brought this on myself and, more importantly, on my family. But, you know, I, I, as we used to say in school, uh, this is on my permanent record. I know that, but I hope it's not the entirety of my permanent record. And so from here on in, you're planning on continuing with the books, uh, with the writing? With, with, the, with the Hollywood stuff. Maybe, if I'm lucky, I'll get invited back to be on News Nation with you again. Yes, yes. But, but as a full-time gig in television, I, I, I don't think that's, that's in the cards for me. Uh, but you intend to do legal analysis? Um, yeah, I mean, I'm going to I'm going to do what I what I've always done. I mean, you know, I've, this is my ninth book. I'm going to continue writing books. I hope I'm going to write magazine articles. I'm going to write, uh, you know, wor work with Hollywood folks on on variety of projects. Are you angry at the New Yorker for how they dealt with it? You know, I, I'm I, I I wish it had been dealt with el elsewhere. But I'm I'm not doing anger. I'm doing gratitude for the terrific life that I have.
Because previously you'd said, I think, that you thought it was excessive, right, in terms uh, Yeah, I mean, sure. I, you know, nobody likes to be fired. I wished I hadn't been fired. But, you know, that's, that's in history now. And, and to those who say Tubin should be out, Tubin committed a sin that can't be forgiven, uh, we should write off Jeffrey Tubin. Some people have said, mostly people on the right, but, but people have said that. What do you say to them? I, you know, I, I, I get that. Um, I, I understand it. Fortunately, you know, my publisher, my editors disagree with that view. But Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your cable provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.